welcome to my channel pharma companion today we'll discuss about the topic post marketing surveillance and pharmacovigilance which comes under the subject drug regulatory affairs so let's begin the topic to a marketed drug the manufacturer must provide the evidence of its efficacy and safety to the us fda in the pre marketing testing the numbers and type of patient used to demonstrate the drug's efficacy and safety are limited as compared with the number and type of the patient who eventually will be prescribed the drug after it is marketed so pms refers to any means of obtaining information about a product after it has been approved for public use and it, this is called as post marketing surveillance means it provides the it provides the additional information on the benefits and risk of the drugs it is important part of the science of pharmacovigilance for post marketing surveillance means that after the drug has been marketed so after the drug has been marketed the information related to the drug like the safety efficacy its side effects its adverse effects all the information that is produced after the marketing of the drug is referred to as post marketing surveillance and this information is presented in the post marketing surveillance and it provides additional information for the benefits and risk of the drugs after the drug has been marketed so what is the benefit of post marketing surveillance system first detection of the manufacturing problems if there is any problem in the manufacturing of the drug product so it can pms can detect that and it has the ability to study the low frequency reactions that is not identified in the clinical trials My, means those type of adverse effects those type of side effects that are not identified in the uh, clinical trials can be identified by post marketing surveillance and post marketing surveillance system has the ability to study the long term effects after long term usage of the drugs what may be the side effects or what may be the uh, mo more other pharmacological actions of the drug it has the ability to study them also so study of the drug drug or drug food interaction can be done by pms and also it is uh, pms is referred to monitoring the increased severity or reporting frequency of known reaction means that type of reaction that could not be shown in the clinical trials that has a low frequency can be detected or can be monitored in the post marketing surveillance and also performance in different user population means in the clinical trials we cannot include the overall or total population that is available in the world so that's why post after post marketing surveillance uh, every user who is using that drug product can be monitored and its performance in the uh, patient can be monitored so next customer satisfaction and verification of the risk analysis what are the risks after post marketing surveillance we can identify them market performance and sustainability could also be detected by the post marketing surveillance and next why do we need post marketing surveillance post marketing surveillance the primary objective of the post marketing surveillance is to develop in information about drug effects under customer condition of the drug use means if a consumer of it or if a patient is consuming the drug product what may be the drug effects that is produced uh, this information is uh, the primary objective of post marketing surveillance and some type of rare adverse events that may not be detected in the previous studies because in very large clinical trials have limitations so that type of rare adverse event can be detected by the pms and given the diversity of the data sources innovate approaches to retrieval of key data may have great potential versus single unified system so post marketing surveillance provides a diversity of data sources from different type of patients and consumers that are consuming our drug product so post marketing surveillance can help for identifying the diversity of the approaches and diversity of the reactions and effects and the uh, pharmacological actions that our drug product can give so that's why we need pms so pms also provide better background rates comparable control population so now what are the sources of the pms information means uh, in a post marketing surveillance where do we get the information from so first is expert user groups 
that are the focus focus groups means in which we have done all our focus in that group uh, we have divided like group 1 group 2 group 3 etc for the clinical trials these are the groups of pms information and second is customer surveys means those patients who are consuming the drug product we will uh, we will go to them and approach to them and ask them uh, what are the effects that they are uh, having after consuming the drug product second third customer complaints and warranty claims uh, some of the customer may complain about the side effects of the drugs that are the sources of information for PMS so post marketed clinical trials these are the clinical trials that are that are held after the marketing of the drug product next user reaction during training programmers in the training programmers what is the reaction of the patients uh, these are the information for PMS and next the media now before going on to the methods of PMS we will discuss where the PMS comes in the clinical trials so as you can see in this graph first of all when a drug product is manufactured its preclinical study has been done preclinical study needs to be performed preclinical study includes lab studies animal studies and all the in vitro studies that are done inside the lab and outside the human body so this includes safety and biological activities safety concerns and strategies and action to minimize the risks next after the preclinical or lab studies phase one studies is continued in which safety and dosage of the drug product is been identified after that phase two study starts in which safety and efficacy of the drug product is measured after that phase three study starts in which the safety and efficacy of a drug product in the uh, in a comparatively large population is measured and after phase three when uh, up a drug product is approved by the NDA or up, up by the US FDA after this all the safety concerns has been measured and checked the post marketing surveillance or the safety surveillance starts so this is the general graph of the clinical trials and PMS so let's go to the methods of PMS so methods of post marketing surveillance first control clinical trials to minimize bias through such method as randomization and double blinding controlled clinical trials are performed it can directly monitor patients for the duration of the studies and it is used for evaluating a drug's efficacy and safety and controlled clinical trials are often costly next is spontaneous or voluntary reporting this type of method is used by the physician and other health provider and hospitals which may be used to alert FDA and pharmaceutical firms to possible adverse effects of the drug means after the post marketing after the marketing of the drug product if any drug product shows any type of adverse effects which the physician or other health provider may know or the hospital may know that a particular drug product is giving such type of adverse reaction so they may report spontaneously or voluntarily uh, to the PMS surveillance team next is cohort studies this study follows a group of patients for a period of time and patients are not randomly assigned and there is no blinding of the patient if any adverse reaction occurs a group of patients with the same medical condition who are taking the drug and who may be receiving alternative treatment are studied for the cohort studies fourth type of method includes case control study in the case control study uh, we identify the patient with the adverse effect to be studied and compare them with the sample drawn from the same cohort and gave rise to case now let's begin as the topic of pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance is a branch of pharmacology or uh, research and development that includes the clinical trials testing human studies subjects and safe and evaluation of safety and efficacy of the drug product so pharmacological pharmacovigilance is a uh, science and activities relating to the detection assessment understanding and prevention of adverse effects and any other medical or vaccine related problems all the medicines and vaccines undergo rigorous testing for safety and efficacy through clinical trials before they are authorized for use 
now types of types included in the pharmacovigilance drug safety surveillance drug abuse and adverse effect monitoring safety monitoring of new products now this is the end of the topic thank you so much for watching i think you have understood uh, the topics clearly and these are the references that my friend Nathan A. Matthew used and these slides were prepared by him. Thank you so much Nathan and thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe my videos.